Hello, let's do the New York Times hard Sudoku for November 23rd, 2023. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. Also, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. All right, so we have two nines here looking in. Ah, and two nines looking in this way. So whenever you have four nines looking, four of any single digit looking into a box, you're guaranteed that they're going to cover everything except one cell. So that lets us place the nine here. Uh, is there anything else special about nines? Ooh, actually, yes. So these nines look down into here. So that places a nine here only. Can't be anywhere else in this box. Can't be anywhere else in this box. Can't be anywhere else in this box. And we should be able to get the final nine right there. That's all the nines. Nice. All right, it'd be nice if all the digits finished that way, but uh, this is the New York Times hard. That's not going to happen. All right, I noticed we have two sixes looking up, so sixes are here. Um, let's go back to horizontal, though. We have two sevens looking in, so seven goes there. Um, uh, we have this eight looking in and this eight looking in, so there's an eight in one of these two. That looks left, so that points left. So what do I mean by pointing? I mean that within this box, we've limited eight to these two cells, and they're both in row three. So if row three had an eight anywhere else, there wouldn't be anywhere to put eight in this box. So basically, box three needs the eight from row three. Row three only has one eight, so these can't be eight anymore. Is the well, this one specifically can't be eight anymore? Um, so these eights look left. This this eight looks right, uh, and that puts an eight in one of these two. So notably, this one's not eight. That's that's the important thing. Um, all right, I'm gonna look for more crossings. Yeah, so. What I do is I just look at two givens that share a row or column in a box, and then I look for digits that are in the, in this case, the column that they aren't in that aren't already in the box, and then I look to the right and see if I find a match. So there's a two in one of these two, and that's always going to point. Uh, it's going to be either a hidden single or it's going to point. Um, so those twos look right. This two looks up, so that's, that's the only place for two in this box now. Um, there's a crossing on threes on this seven nine. This three looks in, this three looks up. So these threes are gonna point down. That puts a three down here. Notably, these aren't three anymore. Um, okay, anything else? Seven or eight in this box we already have marked. Um anything on this? The one, two, not the one. Well, one's in one of those two. That could be helpful. In fact, let's think about, because this is down to most two digits. So let's think about what this box needs. It needs a one. Oops. It needs a one. Ah, wrong mode twice. Uh, it needs a one, one of those two. It needs an eight, one of those two. And then the remaining digits are four and six. OK, so these are down to buy values. Um. All right. Anything else to find here? Any more crossings? Got the eight. I think that might be all we can find here. Ooh, what, what about five? Five looks up, five looks in. Oh, five's in one of those two. That's worth marking. This cell's avoiding a lot of digits. What can it be? It can be a one. It can't be two, three. It could be four. No, it can't be four. So four is in the box. Uh, five. Uh, it could be six. Can't be seven, eight, nine. So down to one, six only. Hmm. That's suspicious. <laughs> um, this one can't be two, five. Yeah, I'm not so interested in that. So four, seven, eight. Are we interested in four, seven, eight in this row? Almost like this four, eight looks at this cell. It's like almost useful, but I can't quite do it. All right. Um, all right, let's move on to the next band here. Let's, this has three digits remaining. We have one, two, three. We need four, six, and seven. Seven actually is limited to here. Look at that. This seven sees here, this seven sees here. So that's a seven. That places the seven here. Hey, let, let's revisit our four eight. Uh, I just thought a little bit too early. 
Um, so this 4, 8 takes 4 and 8 out of here. This 4, 8 takes 4, 8 out of here. 7 is not 4, 8. So where do 4 and 8 go in this row? Well, the answer is they can only go here. This is a hidden pair. That means this can't be a 6, right? We have 6 as a candidate in here, but if this was 6, where do we put 4 and 8 in this row? And the answer is both would have to go there. That doesn't work. So that's not a 6. For the same reason, this isn't 1 or 6. So that leaves a 4, 8 pair here. So that means that's a 6 and that's a 1. That places the 6 and the 8. Very nice. Maybe I should rescan all this. So this is a triple, 1, 3, 6. I'm noticing that this isn't 6. So 6 goes here. Um, what, what's remaining here? We need 1, 3, 4, and 5. I'm really hoping this just resolves, but it might not. Oh, over here. <laughs> this row certainly resolves. We need 2 and 5 left based on our corner marks. The 5 goes here, the 2, the two goes there. That's not a 5. This is 1, 3. Three, so the four goes here. Sorry, this is this is one three only. It's not four or five. So the five goes over here. Yeah, we knew that from here. This one three and this one three are the same. This column is down to four. We need one three five and six. No, not six. Wait, what did I miss? One two three and five. Okay. Oh, this whole box just needs three digits. Needs two three and what? Two, three, and eight. Ah, this sees the two and the eight. So that's the three, that's the two, that's the eight. This box finished. Not the box I expected to finish, but there we go. Um, this, okay, this column needs one, sorry, one, four, and seven. We know the seven is here. I'm going to think about this column as well because it's down to four digits. We need two, three, four, five. This can't be two or five. Two, three, four, five. Uh, feels like I should be able to do more with that, but we haven't really scanned these. Okay, let's do this pair. We need four and seven. So, oh no, not seven. Good thing, not seven. Uh, four and six. I don't think that's resolved. Um, what am I missing here? Why is there so little to do here? Two twos. All right, everyone will find a buddy in the middle. So let's do that. Yeah, two in this box is placed. These twos look in, this two looks in, that two looks in. Four twos looking in means we place the two. Let's actually look at twos. We might be able to finish them. All right, they're here and they're here, unfortunate. So let's just corner mark that. That's just a rectangle that's not gonna resolve on its own. All right, let's look for buddies. The twos, the twos are done and the, the nines are always, have been done for a while. Three has a buddy here. That three looks down. Um, the two, okay, the eight. The eight has a buddy. This eight looks down, so eight's over here. Any crossings of note? Six, two, nine. So the six would be the only one. Five or seven? No. Okay. Surprisingly little to do here. I'm going to mark this row because it has four left. We need one, five, six, seven. It does clean up a bit. I'm looking for anything to do with geometry or anything like that, but I might have to move on. Let's move on to this band. Uh, I don't see any repeated digits, any crossings of note. Two, five. Okay, so the two and the seven would be the only one here. The eight. Surprisingly, no eight to match up with. The one. No. Surely something here. <laughs> the one here, yeah. So one in this box is one of these two. If you just even look at the markings, you can see that. And that looks left. That one looks left. That one looks left. That leaves just here for a one in this box. Okay, now this eight looks over, and that's one of these two is eight. So those eights look over. This eight looks down. Eight in one of those two. In general, this row, we know we need an eight. We know we need a three, four. It's not a three. And then there's one more digit. Seven. So seven goes there. I'm trying to see what to do with sevens, but All right, anything else here of note? Um Okay, this column has four left. So we need four, five, seven, eight. 
Wow. Okay. This is getting very cluttered. So I feel like it's close to done, but maybe not. Um, let's let's look for vertical scans here. I feel like I already kind of looked. Just gonna double check. Let's just do this column. We need one, four, six, seven. Come on, fours. No. Wow, I'm missing something. Ah. We have another hidden pair, this 2, 5. I was looking at where I was looking at geometry and happened to look at this first, but um 2, 5 doesn't notice how we have this 2, 5 here and this 2, 5 here. So there's only two places left for 2, 5 in the row. That's a hidden pair. That means this is not 3 or 4, and this is only 2 or 5. That means this is a quad, and we need a 3. We need a 3 in this row, and now these two can't be 3s because of the hidden 2, 5 pair. And these corner mark 3s tell us it's only here in this row. So that goes, that, that becomes a three. Um, oh, we already have these marked. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is four, six. This is only six, seven, actually, not four, six, seven. Uh, come on, what does this do? Um, no, we're going to have to find more. Okay. Anything else to do vertically? How about this column? This is 468. Oops, it's not a 6. I mean, everything's penciled here. I could be missing something, but I don't think so. Okay, over here, 2s, 8s? No. Oh wait, down here, this this four, six, seven? Six is limited to these two. That means this is not a six. Now that's a four, eight pair. That's a six, that's a four. That's eight and four. These aren't fours. This is a three. Now there's only one place for eight in the box, now only one place for seven in the box. Only one place for three in this box. That's a six. Uh one five. So the seven in this box goes there. This is down to one five. That's a five. We get the four. Seven, one, three, two, five. I think we got it. <laughs> Six, four, one, seven. Wow, it's just completely collapsing now. All right, eight and four. That's an eight. That's five and one. All right, clean this up a little bit. We need four, six, seven left in the puzzle. That's a seven. Before that's a six. All right. Yeah. Um. Actually, the this hidden pair that I found, this 2-5 hidden pair, it sneakily reduced the 3 in this row to only here. That, I think that was the biggest spot. Um, early on, I got... Uh, what did I get? I got this 4-8 hidden pair, I think. That also seemed important. It got me a lot of progress. Um, so yeah, very cool. Um, I, like, I like when hiddens give you a, a nice cascade of progress. That always feels good, because hiddens are... Hiddens are nicer to find than just penciling and finding naked stuff. So anyway, I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.